Everybody, welcome back to On the Glide Slope. Just a quick flight for fun today. I've been working on Utah scenery. Have uh, downloaded ortho scenery and made my own ortho scenery for the whole state. If you haven't done that with Ortho 4XP yet in X Plane, it's easy. And in fact, I think it's faster than trying to download ortho scenery online um, just because of the, how the process seems to work. Uh, so I've downloaded ortho scenery for the whole state, and in addition to that, I Yesterday, uploaded to xplane.org custom scenery for Price Carbon Airport, which is a strip uh, just south of Salt Lake City, a little southeast. So today we're going to just fly from Price to Salt Lake, VFR. Uh, I'm not running real-world weather right now because it's not very good. Um, but we're going to fly up Price Canyon over Soldier Summit, down into Provo. Um, and then uh, ask for approval to fly into the Bravo to land at Salt Lake City. We're going to do this on Pilot Edge today only airspace concern other than Salt Lake City International's Bravo is the restricted area over the NSA's new data plant, which uh, we need to maintain over 10,000 feet, but we should be at 10.5 on this flight anyway, so that shouldn't be a problem. So that's it. I'll just uh, shoot some video here along the way and uh, give a sense of what the photorealistic scenery is like, and uh, we'll be off to the races. So without any further ado, we'll start going through our checklist. And there we go. No pressure looks good. You'll pump off. Avionics. There we go. All right, I'm going to uh, get us hooked up to pilot, ed pilot Edge and then we'll be ready to go. Carbon Towning Traffic, Skyhawk 15 Julie Golf is going to be taxiing for straight out departure on 01 Carbon County. And we will start our flight. I had fun designing this scenery. Doing all these tarmac markings was a pain, but um, I thought they turned out quite well. Okay, we've completed our run-up, so let's go. Carbon County traffic, Skylane, I'm sorry, Skyhawk, 15 Julie Golf departing runway 01. We'll be making crosswind departure to the northwest, Carbon County. Looks like we have a curved runway here, sloped runway I mean. We'll go up this this hill here <laughs> before we get started. I can flatten the airport in uh, the configurations. Okay, let's go. Okay, RPMs look good, engine instruments are green, airspeed's alive. We're on the center line. We've got plenty of room for our takeoff point. Density altitude here, we are at 6,000 feet. There we go, rotate. Got the airplane leaned.
There's Price, Utah, off to our left. Okay, so we are going to be following Spanish Fork Canyon, which is uh, not a hard VFR route. We just fly up the canyon, follow the highway to Provo, and that'll help us save a little altitude here. And this is the canyon right up here. The ortho scenery looks great. This is Bing was the server that I used. And I'm also running Better Sky, which is the Lua script that gives these great sky textures. And these cirrus clouds are courtesy SkyMax Pro 4. fly over the little town of Helper and make our way this way. I don't have the uh, sim sending data to four flight, so I'm really trying to fly this VFR. While we're at it, let's try to get advisories. Red Andrew, November, radar contact, uh, 28 miles west of the Mustang VOR, clear to the Reno Airport via direct Mustang, direct, send and maintain 12,000 when able, say approach request. Salt Lake approach, Skyhawk 15, Julie Golf, VFR request. For 313 November, clear direct Lippy, cross Lippy at 12,000, clear ILS X3196, right approach. For 15 Juliet Gulf, Salt Lake City Center. Uh, Salt Lake Center, we are seven miles northwest of the Price VOR, 9,400. Would like advisories to Salt Lake City International, please. I want to try to go for squawk I'm to go for our contact uh, four miles north of the carbon dealer. Copy, one five Julie Golf. Okay, so we've got flight following, which is good. They'll look after us. We're climbing up to 10,000 feet, another 500 to go. This here is the canyon. We'll follow this up and then pop out over on the other side and be looking at uh, be looking at uh, Provo. And we'll know that it's time to do that when we are about on the 107 radial for this guy. Which is pretty close to where we are. Okay, altitude 10,500, don't want to climb past that. Trim the airplane and continue our flight. Pretty around here, some nice scenery. The ortho looks great. This is zoom level 16 with uh, 18 within three miles of the airports. Ortho photo lets you set that in the configuration settings. You can pick a uh, specific zoom level around airports so you've got a higher level of detail when you are on approach. Back out of the throttle, we've finished our climb. Okay. All right, we are coming up to Soldier Summit. We are getting close to where we're gonna intercept 
the radial that we want to track into Fairfield. We've got the Uinta Mountains off to this side here, one of the only east-west running mountain ranges in the western hemisphere, and then we have up here the Wasatch, we can start to see. And uh, we're coming right over the top of Soldier Summit now. And once we're there, we've got about, oh, that's 77 miles left to go. I can see Schofield Reservoir off there to our left. And there's the freeway that we're going to keep following out of here. And there's the power lines, right where they are supposed to be. It's pretty cool when the underlying mesh is so accurate, you can really fly VFR with the charts. Three degrees. Yep. Good, we're right where we're supposed to be. Okay, we are coming up to the mouth of Spanish Fork Canyon. Wasatch Range right in front of us. Utah Valley, Utah Lake out to that side. With the West Desert behind it. And we'll pop out here over Spanish Fork and Provo, and then we'll track to the Fairfield VOR, and then we will be pretty much flying down the throat of the Salt Lake Bravo after that. They know that's where we're headed, so they should be giving us clearance into the Bravo airspace in a little bit. And if we don't have it before we're halfway across the lake, we'll ask for it. Salt Lake Approach Skyhawk 15 Julia Golf is 10,400. One five to the Gulf Salt Lake City approach Salt Lake City altimeter two nine nine or six. You can expect runway one seven. Nine or six and expect runway one seven one five to the Gulf. Okay, that's going to be different. Usually I'd live on three five there, so one seven that'll be cool. And uh, I'll get my heading bug ready for that, so we can get ready to visualize it. They're going to vector us around for that, but that's okay. Must be the prevailing winds. I forgot to tell them that I have sim weather, that I don't have real world weather, but that's okay. We'll tell them when we get there. I don't know if anybody noticed, but I actually had the VOR on a from heading rather than on a two. Uh, wasn't much of an issue, but I looked down and realized, you know, I'm not flying east, I'm flying west. So all the more reason to double check everything you do. There's a shot of some of the ortho scenery. And uh, looks really sweet. I'll get some more when we're over the Salt Lake Valley in a little bit. Okay, there we've got Provo, Utah, off to the right. Looking up Provo Canyon. Provo Airport sliding by. Four one five Juliet Gulf, third to the Salt Lake City Class Bravo airspace. Cleared into the Bravo, one five Juliet Gulf. That's good to hear. And we're coming up on the Fairfield VOR. And uh, it's right on the top of that mountain peak. And then Salt Lake City is that way.
five. Okay, we are over what's called Point in the Mountain, which means we're going from Utah Valley into Salt Lake Valley. That puts us about 20 miles away from the strip. We've got to lose 5,000, 10,000, I'm sorry, 5,000 feet between now and then at 500 feet a minute. That's going to take 10 minutes. 10 minutes at 110 knots is about 20 miles, which means we got to start our descent That's now. 1684 Salt Lake City approach. Salt Lake City altimeter 299 or 6. So we'll just drop our throttle here, keep the airplane trimmed, and Total start to descend. ILS May 165. Nice view of the Wasatch Mountains there. And I'm expecting he's going to give us left traffic into 1-7, because there's going to be a Delta jet arriving on 1-6. And that'll give us some separation, but we'll find out. Pretty soon here, they'll hand us over to tower, I would Delta imagine. Delta 1684, fly heading 130, descend and maintain 6,000 vectors to final. Yeah, I don't know where he's coming in from. It's got to be close if he's coming in at 6,000. And now we're over the South Salt Lake Valley. It's cool, the photo scenery has actually snow on the peaks, which is great. Boy, that looks great. And we've got the Kennecott Copper Mine, Copper Mine off to that side. Well, I call it Kennecott. I think now it's Rio Tinto or some other thing. All right, tower is going to be 118.3, so I might as well get ready for that. Or I think it's going to be 118.3. Hard to believe it could look better than that. All right, there we've got Little Cottonwood Canyon, Alta and Snowbird are up there. Delta Big Cottonwood Contact Canyon, Salt Brighton and Solitude are up there. 5 .7. Hidden Meadows Golf Course. And we are well over the Salt Lake Valley. There's airport number two. We're at 8,200 and descending, and it looks great. I grew up in Salt Lake City, and this ortho scenery makes it almost surreal to fly over. The World to XP Western, U.S. West Pack that I downloaded, that I linked to on the blog, has done a good job of putting buildings on here that look realistic and not European. All right, Salt Lake City passing off to the left or to the right. We've been handed off to tower. We've been told to fly left down in in 17, report at base. We're coming down to our pattern altitude. We've got the strip in front of us. There's that Delta jet coming in on 16. And hopefully the GoPro battery will hang on. I hear that Mr. X is working on a scenery for Salt Lake City. That would be fabulous. No, the 1684 contact Salt Lake City Tower, 132.65. I feel like we got a little wind pushing us, but we shouldn't. I set the wind to clear. Okay, pattern altitude. We're going to just follow the highway up here. We'll be able to see that Delta jet land. That'll be neat. Delta 1684, right, clear to land. 16 right, clear to land. Delta 1684. All right, there's the field right halfway up the strut, like it should be. 
Okay, fuel pump, landing lights. We're at the numbers. First notch flaps, trim the airplane. Start flying her downhill. About here. Salt Lake Tower, Skyhawk 15, Julia Golf, left base 17. One time, Julia Golf, runway 17, clear to land. Cleared to land for 17, 15, Julia Golf. I don't know if you guys can see it, but the Delta, the Delta bird is right there. Next on to flaps. Make our turn. Don't pitch up. There we go. A little high, that's okay. I don't mind being high. flaps. Don't answer your cell phone when you're flying the airplane. Just come back to the glide slope here, nice and easy. There we go. roll down here past this Air National Guard base. Okay, well, in case the battery doesn't last, that was the flight from Price to Salt Lake with a little pilot edge along the way. The scenery looks great. The uh, ortho photos were beautiful. I think the Price scenery looked pretty good. I encourage you to download that. If you don't want to download a bunch of libraries, I uploaded a uh, default version to the Gateway today. Oops. A little hard on the brakes there. I gotta adjust my tow brake calibration. Delta 1684 exit left taxi to parking via Bravo. Oh, we never saw him. Roger exit left taxi via Bravo to the gate Delta 1684. There's the air net. Golf Kilo to the gate or Crescent Kilo to the ramp gate. Okay. Kilo to the ramp. Thanks for your help. One five Julie Golf. Okay, clean that up. Fuel pump off. Landing light off. Strobes off. Air National Guard base here in real life, and look, there's the KC-135 sitting there. That's pretty cool. Okay, so that is another flight on the glide slope. If you like what you see, I'd encourage you to check out the website, www.onthegliedslope.net. All kinds of information there about the calibration of the screens, how the place thing is built. There's a videos in the video channel where they have a tour of the sim if you want to see those. And... Um, anything else that you'd want to know. I tend to look at email and try to reply to it about once every three days or four days, so if you need something that's an urgent reply, you might let me know. Otherwise, expect me to take a little bit of time and get into things. 
And uh, that's, that's it. So, again, thanks again for checking in, and uh, I hope you like it. I have fun making the videos. This time I just wanted to make one that was a little indulgent, you know, something flight I'd like to do in the real world. So, uh, I guess that's about it. Thanks again for watching on the Glide Slope.